Ruben Nataraja, who's been the marketing agent, handling your questions and queries regarding today's auction. <coughs> Just some housekeeping, guys, before we start. Uh, there is Ruben's number that we've typed into the chat function there. Of course, if you, Ru if you Google Ruben, you'll have his number pop up. If you have any technical issues or you can't, uh, anything happens with the meeting on the technical IT side, give Ruben a call and we'll sort it out uh, mid-auction. Okay? There's two ways that you're able to bid here today. Option number one is you can bid like you normally would on the street. So you can put your hand up and yell your bid out. I'll see that and I'll hear that. For that to happen, you would have to turn on your microphone and turn on your camera. Um, I can see that no one has their microphone or camera turned on, but that's okay. If you'd rather not do that, I certainly understand. The second option is the chat function. So in the top right of your screen, you will see uh, some icons up at the very top. Okay, there's the people, I should say um, 17 on it, a couple of little uh, people icons there. Next to that, is uh, what looks like a page or a little speech blurb. That's the chat function. So what you're able to do is you're able to type in your bids there and it will filter through um, and I'll be able to see that. So if you wanted to give that a test, I know that uh, I had a few, Nathan, Payal, Steve, Dell, Paul, Diane have all tested there. Uh, uh, Samishka, I hope that's how I pronounce it correctly. Uh, but if you want to maybe just test to make sure that yours works, um, if you maybe write test or hello, just to make sure that that works for us uh, before we get underway. So mixture, Merv, I've got that one. Thank you very much, Merv Hammer. Thank you. Uh, so mixture, if you maybe just want to just test, make sure that's working in the chat function, if you wouldn't mind. Are you there, mate? Can you hear us? Hey, Ruben. Oh, got it there. Thank you. Got it all there. Okay. Yes, got it there, Nathan. All right. I think we're ready to go. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, wonderful property here. Wonderful issues. I can't see what you're showing me there. Ruben is too far away. I'm sorry, Ruben's trying to hold up a note for me. I feel like we're back in high school passing notes around. Welcome, of course, to the online auction here at number 12, Kenwood Crescent in the heart of Ringwood. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, today's auction, of course, it will be conducted in accordance with any rules and any additional conditions that are made available before the start of the auction. The auction rules prohibit an auctioneer to accept any late bids or offers for the property after the property has been knocked down to the successful bidder. What that means, ladies and gentlemen, hang on, just give me a moment. Thank you. Sorry about that, just had a quick conversation with Ruben. What that means, ladies and gentlemen, can't accept any late bids or offers for the property after the property is knocked down. So obviously one of the challenges that we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm unable to see you. Okay, so I'm gonna give everyone ample time. First call, second call, third and final call before the gavel falls. But after the gavel falls, can't take any late bids or offers. I do apologize in advance. If you are the highest bidder, and I am taking a little bit longer to allow the underbidder some time to make sure that they 100% in or out. Okay, but if we're selling your property, I'm sure you would want us to do the vendors, of course, they do have a reserve price. They auctioneer all the bidders on request. The law prohibits false bids and prohibits other bidders from attempting to stop other bidders from bidding, and the law doesn't provide fines for this conduct. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Uh, that rule, of course, the rules I do for me bend or bids, I make it really, 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 really simple and really, 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 really obvious and we're going to make a bid on behalf of the vendor. In fact, I will make it so simple and I will make it so obvious. I will even use those words, bend or bid, but Lord, by, uh, by law, only I as the auctioneer may make a bend or bid. We sell here today, as I said, ladies and gentlemen, by a public auction. We do call for a 10% deposit upon signing of the contract with the balance to be paid at settlement on the 21st of September. That is what the vendors have stipulated. I am aware from Ruben that some parties have sought variations to that. Those variations have been approved. Bid with confidence. Our vendors have made it absolutely as easy as they can to make it as simple as you can to buy this wonderful home. At the conclusion of the auction, of course, 
All of our contracts will be done electronically, like a DocuSign, if you've ever used that program, electronic signature, as well as a deposit, you're able to pay that electronically. Uh, we will speak to the highest bidder, of course, all their systems allow us to do that. It's a wonderful home, 12 Kenwood Crescent, three bedrooms, one bathroom, 676 square metres of prime ringwood dirt underpinning your family future. Renovated bathrooms, lovely light filled, natural light throughout the property. Tim before, you see the images scrolling through your screen. Walk to everything. You've got schools, both primary and secondary, both public and private, right on your doorstep. It's a wonderful locale, parks, Mullen Mullen Creek, a little short walk to Eastland, the train stations, and of course the end of the access into the city. It's a wonderful family home and a wonderful family area, as evidenced by the people that are on here this morning and have been through the campaign to the investors in the crowd. $440 per week is what the rental estimate has been uh, for the property in its current condition. Ducted heat in the calling creature comforts. It's a wonderful home, large backyard, as you can see there on that screen right there. Wonderful home, wonderful location. That's why we're here. You've seen it, you loved it. Now's your chance to bid and buy it. Over to you, where do we go? Get us underway, opening bitter offer. 12 Kenwood Crescent in the heart of Ringwood. Where do we start? 650, got it there. And also raising there at 650, I have. That's 650 for me now. Let's go 60, $10,000 rise from there. That's 650, 650, I have. That's 650, clearly bid it off. It is 60, I search. That's 650, first call, 650. Second call, 650, 60 to get you in. Third, final time, that's 650,000. Any rise, 60 got you in there, Steve. There's your competition, 70 seat logical I would have thought. At 60 I have, let's go 70 pay up. First call, 660. Second call, 660,000. 70 we go, got it there, 70. 80 as we got now, Steve. Quick beers, how quickly can you type on that keyboard? That's 70 I have here, let's go 80. That's 670 now, first call. Second call, 670. Third, final time, that's 670, 80, got it there, new face in the race. Got it from Dell, you have to go higher than that. At 680, I've got it here with Dell, 690, got it. Thank you there, 700, round me off. At 690, the big, clearly bit up here, 690, 70, 100 to get you back in Dell. All Steve, haven't forgotten about your 700 research. Taking 10 to appreciate the offer, not taking the five at the moment, 700 where you need to be, Dell. At 690, I have seven where we go. 705, I'll take it even better. At 705, let's go 715. At 715, I search. At 705, I have. At 705,000, first call, 705. 715, get you back. Come with me at 715, Dal. Appreciate it, taking 715, Dal. Not 708, 715, where we need to be. Second call, 720, I'll take, and 500. That's a strange number, but we'll take it. 720 and a half, I've got it, sorry there, Dale. Let's go 730, that's 720 and a half. 720 and a half, 730, we search, Dale. First call, 720 and a half. 730, we go, Dale. 730, where you need to be. Just listen, I'll guide you where you need to be. 730 is the number, 720 and a half I have. Second call, 730, Dale, can I tempt you in? 35, even better, I'll take it. That's 735, let's go 50. Big bold bid means you buy a property. That's 735, 750 to get you in payout. First call, 735. 750 we search. Three quarters of a million, let's go. Second call, 735, 750 to get you in. Third, final time, that's 735,000. 750 to get you in payout. Or Steve, haven't forgotten about you. 735 I have. What about 50 we go? 7.35, what would it be like to do? 7.42, I'm taking, I'll take the 7.42 and a half, why not? 7.42 and a half, 7.50 to get you back in down, 7.42 and a half I've got. That's 7.42 and a half, clearly bit it off it here. First call, 7.42 and a half, 7.50 our surge. Taking 500, let's go to 7.50 down. 7.50 where you need to be. Let me say 7.50. Second call, seven, I'll take it, why not? That's 755 and a half, I've got it. That's 755 and a half, let's go 60. That's 755 and a half, clear bit of it here. 
60 where you need to be down. Not appreciate the offer. Not taking the bid. That's 750 and a five and a half. 760 where we go. That's 755 and a half. 760 down to get you back in. All right, you got to keep bidding. I won't even worry about it. We'll go 57. Why not 57? Let's go 60 down. 760 the bid. 757 and a half. 60 hour search. That's 757, clear bit off it here. That's 757,000 now, 60 to get you back in. That's 757, first call. 760 to get you in, down. Second call, 757. 760 where you need to be, Dal. Third, final time, that's 757,000. Have we seen your best? Surely not. 676 square metres, three bedrooms, beautiful timber floors. 760 we go, Dal. 760, turn the volume up perhaps. That's 760 where you need to be. Give me another two, Dal. 760, I'll take. 59, all right, we'll just keep going here. 759, that's 759. 60, Dal, where we need it to be. What do you want to do? First call, 760, I search. Second call. 759 the bid. Third, final time at 759,000. Clearly bid and offered. What are we doing? We in, we out. 759,000. Have we seen your best, Dal? In, out, what do you want to do? 759 is the bid. What are we doing now? I need to understand. Are we in or are we out? Any rise at all above, otherwise clear instructions from the vendor. <coughs> I've called it three times already. 759 is the bid. In, out, Dow, what do you want to do? Steve, haven't forgotten about you. 761, all right, I'll take it there. So we've got the 60 now, 61. Quick bid, he means he wants it. Hey now, I think the one bids, the small bids, they don't work. They just encourage the next bid. Let's make a bigger step. 765, I suggest. That's 761 I had. Let's go 65. First call, 761. 65, I suggest. Second call, 761 I have. 765 is where I suggest. Third, final time down. We in, we out, what are we doing? 761 I have. What are we doing, Rubes? Are we in or we out, Dal? What would you like to do? In, out, need to know. 761, appreciate your patience, pay Are we seeing your best, Dal? Are you in or are you out? Ruben, just get some instructions if I can. What are we doing? Are we in or are we out, Dal? Need to know. 761. Appreciate your patience. Beautiful three bedrooms, one bathroom, walk, Mullum Mullum Creek and Trail there, parks, plenty of schools right on your doorstep. Wonderful location. Properties like this, they don't come up very often, Dal. Where are we? What do we want to do? In, out, need to know. 761 is the bid. There's your competition. Steve, haven't forgotten about you. I know that you were in there earlier. That's 761 I have. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do, we're just going to go speak to our owners. We'll be back before you say cat and a hat.
Appreciate your patience, ladies and gentlemen. As we can all imagine, it's a really big decision when it comes to buying or selling. Spoken to the vendors, I have clear instructions right here, right now. That's 761,000 to bid. Any rise at all, clear instructions from the vendor. What do we want to do? Are we in or are we out, Dale? That's 761,000, get a call three times. That's 761 I have. That's 761 the bid now. First call, 761,000. In, out, have you seen your best out? Clear instructions from the vendor. Second call, 700, got it there. Reappear like Houdini, good to have you back. That's 762, I've got it now. Where do we go now, pal? That's 762 the bid. Clearly bid it off in here. 762 I have, there's the competition. Suggest a bigger number than a $1,000 bid. 65, I've got it. That's 765. That's 765, stay alive. That's 765,000, clearly bid off in here. 66 and a half. Oh, sorry, that's 765 I have. That's 765. Where do we go now, Dal? Almost had it. Pipped at the end there. <coughs> that's 765. Clear bit of it here. We in or we out, Dal? What do we want to do? Spoke to the vendors. I've got clear instructions here today. That's 765. First call, 765. Second call, 765,000. Gavel's up, Dal. What are we doing? In, out, need to know. 765. Third, final time. That's 765,000. What are we doing, Dale? Are we in or are we out? We're out. That's not what I was looking for. I'll give you a moment to think about it because I know you said that earlier. 765 I have. That's 765 in the bid. <coughs> you sure? What about $500? I'll take $500 and get you back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do, we're going to go speak to the owners. We'll be back very, very soon.
Hey, appreciate your patience, ladies and gentlemen. I know it might seem like nothing will happen, but we were very busy behind the scenes. For those of you that just jumped in, I just want to confirm we're going to increase in the bid from 765000 to 817 and a half. If you could just confirm that, please. Uh, Payala, 817500 is where he's at. Got it there. Clear as traffic from the vendor on the market. We sell. No better offer. We're done. We're selling it. Call three times. 817 and a half. First call. Second call on the market. We sell. Third and final time. 817,000 and a half. We're selling. We're selling. Ladies and gentlemen, we're sold. Congratulations. Thank you for uh, tuning in and watching. We hope to see you at the next Ray White Ringwood online auction. Have a lovely, lovely weekend.